Let's make sure we can convert fractions into percentages. Let's remind ourselves about what percent means. You know some other words that have got this little piece cent in them. For example, century, which is 100 years, or that the fact that there's 100 cents in a rand. And that gives us a strong idea that percent has something to do with 100. The exact meaning of percent, if we wanted to figure out two-fifths and write it as a percentage, all we're asking ourselves is, what will, if we get an equivalent fraction, two two-fifths, that has a denominator of 100, what will the numerator be? That numerator will be the percentage. So when we're trying to find a, write a fraction as a percentage, all we really want to do is write it as an equivalent fraction with 100 as the denominator. So we could go and do that as we normally do. So just figure out uh, uh, the equivalent fraction with 100 as a denominator. But I actually want to show you a nice, quick, easy method that's going to work every single time. What we want to do is we want to get that numerator where that question mark is on its own. So to do that, we'd need to multiply here by 100. So we'd get the question mark on its own. But to keep our equation balanced, if we do it to that side, we must also do it to that side. And that gives us a very quick and easy way to always convert a fraction into a percentage. So the method is as follows. If you want to turn two-fifths into a percentage, what you've got to do is you're going to just multiply it by 100. And then what you will get is you will get here, two-fifths multiplied by 100 is going to be five cancels with the 100 and you get 20. And so you're going to get two times 20, which is 40%. So two-fifths is exactly the same as 40%. And just to write it in fraction form, two-fifths is the same as 40 over 100. Hopefully you can see that very easily. Sometimes your fractions are going to turn into relatively ugly percentages, but that's not a problem. If you wanted to turn one third into a percentage, you're going to use the same method. You're going to multiply by 100%. Then you're going to get 100 over 3%. Now let's go and do that. Remember I told you fraction line means division. So we're going to do 100 divided by 3. 3 into 10 goes 3 times, remainder 1. 3 into the that 10 goes 3 times, remainder 1. 3 into the next 10 is going to go in. And so you're going to keep on getting 3s. And so what one third as a percentage is, is 33,333333 forever percent. And if you want to go from a percentage back to a fraction, it's very easy. If, for example, if you have 50% and you want to get it to be a fraction, all you've got to remember is that percent means over 100. It means you've got a denominator of 100. And now you just simplify your fraction. You can divide numerator and denominator here by 50, and you will get that 50% is the same as a half.